Today, I'm walking you step-by-step -step through how to create a mortgage calculator in Excel. Stick around to the very end because we're gonna calculate the time and amount saved on interest when you make prepayments on your mortgage. But before we get started, let me know in the comments, what else can I help you with in Excel? And while you're at it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and let's get started right now. To get started, we're gonna talk about the financing arrangement that we have in place. The amount of the loan is $330,000. The APR on the loan is 7%, and it's a fixed rate loan, so that's not gonna change, and it's a 30-year loan. This brings us to our first Excel formula to calculate the payment owed on this loan. So I'm just gonna press the plus sign, which is the same as pressing the equal sign when you start a new formula, and we're gonna use the PMT formula. And so the rate in this case is the APR, and we're gonna divide that by 12 because we're gonna be making monthly payments. The number of periods on the loan is 30 years times 12 months in the year. And the present value on that loan is equal to the amount of the loan. So I'm gonna press enter, and Excel calculates that payment as a negative amount, and I wanna change that to a positive amount. So I'm gonna press F2 to edit this formula, and just enter a negative sign in front of that payment to convert it to a positive amount. Now we're gonna jump down and start filling out the columns in our mortgage calculator. So we've got period, we've got beginning, and when you want to start a new line in the same cell, you can just press Alt, Enter, and this is the beginning balance, interest, principal, a section for our extra payment, and then ending balance. We're going to populate periods using the sequence formula, and the number of rows that we want to populate is the number of periods in the loan. So that's going to be equal to this years times 12. Columns we can ignore, so I'm just going to press comma twice and we want to start at one and we want to step by one as well close parentheses and press enter and excel populates all 360 periods of the loan the beginning balance is equal to the amount of the loan in period one the interest is equal to the balance on the loan times the apr and we're gonna drag this formula to other cells. So I'm gonna press F4 to lock that APR into place. And we want to divide it in 12 for those monthly payments. Principal is equal to payment, which I'm gonna lock in place again, minus the interest. We're not gonna to touch extra payment right now. So ending balance is just equal to that beginning balance minus the principal minus the extra payment. The beginning balance for the next period is just the ending balance from the previous period. And I'm gonna drag down the interest, principal, and ending balance formulas. And we can highlight these cells here and double click them to send them all the way down our table. And when I jump to the bottom, you'll see here that the loan balance at the end of all the periods is equal to zero. And that's a great sign that you've set up your calculator correctly. So I'm gonna press Control Home to jump up here to the top. And I'm gonna add a new column over here for original interest. And what we're gonna calculate in this column is the interest that we would pay on this loan if we didn't make prepayments. In this case, we're gonna use the IPMT formula. The rate is gonna be that APR locked into place divided by 12. The period is gonna just be the period that we've got here in our table. The number of period is the years locked into place times 12. And the present value is our amount locked in place as well. And press enter. This is a negative value, so I'm just going to edit that. Throw that negative sign to convert it back to positive. This time, our double click isn't going to work. So to drag this formula down, I'll jump over to the ending balance column. Press control D to get down to the bottom. Control shift up to jump back up to the top. And control D to drag that formula all the way down. And so now let's create a section up here to calculate the extra payment savings. And we're gonna calculate the interest extra payment savings and the month savings. So the interest extra payment savings is just equal to the sum of the original interest column. And from that, we're going to subtract the sum of the interest 
column in our table that takes into consideration prepayments. And so the current savings is zero, which makes sense because we haven't layered in prepayments yet. The month's savings, we're gonna enter a multi-step formula. The first step is an if formula. So if, and the test is gonna be, highlight this ending balance and then enter the less than symbol and then zero. So if our ending balance is less than zero, the value of true is yes. Close parentheses and press enter. And this formula returns a range, which is why there's a spill error here, but that's what I expected because we have more to do. Next, we're gonna add an X lookup to the front of our if formula. So X lookup, we're gonna look up the word yes in quotation marks. The lookup array is gonna be that entire if formula that we've already done. And the return array is just gonna be the period column in our mortgage table over here and close parentheses. So what this formula is gonna do is return the period when the ending balance is less than zero. And in this case, that's 360 because the ending balance is less than zero in the last period of the loan. And then lastly, we're just gonna compare that to the normal number of periods in the loan, which is the years times 12, and subtract from that our X lookup. Again, we haven't saved any months yet because we haven't layered in extra payments. Let's jump to period 13. And we're gonna layer in um, five extra payments. So I'm gonna enter a th five extra payments of $1,000 and I'm gonna enter those in. And our calculator shows us that those five extra payments save us more than $30,000 of interest on this loan and let us pay it off 16 months quicker than we otherwise would have. Check out this video with some simple Excel formatting tips to make your mortgage calculator look more professional and be easier to use. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.